once again to Para Philosophy Dos. Today I'm going back to the city of Bedrock in game City Skylines. It's a city where I was about to hit 500,000 population and I did but I was planning on a million. So I'm back once again after a couple of years to actually try to achieve 1 million population in this city. But before we can expand on to some uh, new areas like over here and left over here as you can see I can buy more uh, areas and build on those I first have to deal with a few issues. The first issue that uh, is one of the reasons that I stopped playing a while back is the high oscillation of the income from the commercial buildings and you can watch it happen right now. You can see that uh, around 300,000 was when we started watching now it's already 346,000 and this is going to make my income in the positive right here. Uh, this is uh, oscillating constantly and at a very high rate. So at the moment we are getting close to 400,000 and we are probably going to pass 400,000 but in a few minutes we are going to go back to around 250 to 300,000 income. So this income is completely not constant. It oscillates wildly inside of a week or so or maybe two weeks of the city's time. And uh, it is what produced that effect which totally confused me back a few years ago uh, because I couldn't figure out what exactly was happening. Now apparently there is some, uh, there is, uh, so it's now coming down again. So it reached about uh, 410 plus thousand before it started dropping again. So there is definitely some cyclical uh, thing that's happening that is uh, making this possible. The income is going up widely and then going down widely and this uh, of course uh, make, means my weekly income is uh, either uh, highly in uh, positive or highly negative but hopefully it will mean that my bank balance is going to stay uh, about the same uh, depending on uh, just how much do I go into the positive and negative. But we'll keep an eye on that. I also reduce the taxes in order to uh, be able to more easily get uh, new buildings built. Another thing that I needed to start doing was fixing the current um, building size because I have a lot of buildings that actually aren't 4x4 and 4x4 buildings are the ones that allow the most uh, space usage to be uh, proper and uh, they allow for a lot of seems households per building but if I have smaller buildings like I do for example over here uh, where I for some reason uh, did not have enough space for 4x4 buildings but on one side of the street I did on the other I did not and if we look at here this is 19 households 19 households 19 households but if we look across the street 26 26 26 so this is definitely impacting the amount of space I'm using to get the maximum number of sims. That is why I've started to fix this problem by recreating these streets at a 4x4 on both sides of the street but it will take some time because uh, the demand for more buildings is kind of low at the moment and I need to figure out exactly what's the reason for this. So I first need to make sure to uh, fix up this uh, problem with uh, the streets and the uh, spaces and then once I do that uh, it's going to take a while because it's a widespread problem. You can see here that there is a lot of this mismanagement of these uh, little squares here for zones because of this problem that there isn't enough space here for 4x4 four four buildings back to back but for some reason there's like a millimeter missing here that would allow for that. So once that's fixed and a lot more uh, 4 by 4 buildings are up, this uh, place is going to look much better and the space is going to be much better used. And then I can start uh, leveling these hills down and creating uh, better places for my uh, expansions. I will also be dealing with this problem here with this hill which I built upon uh, before in my let's play but I totally dislike having to waste so much space so I'm going to uh, bulldoze these buildings, level down this hill and then rebuild this area as well. As for the uh, products and goods, I'm at around uh, 20,000 import when it comes to uh, the uh, products and goods co combined uh, while the goods are imported I would say at around three or four thousand but I have an export of five thousand seven hundred which is the problem with the balance that I showed you in one of my videos I will put it up there uh, you can see it on the right now uh, the 
problem is uh, the fact that even though you have a lot of buildings that produce goods and you have a lot of buildings that use goods, the commercial buildings, you're still going to be exporting some goods and importing goods. For some reason, the game doesn't really balance out your production with your uh, expenditure. What's going on here? Citizens are six. Uh, noise pollution is high because they're right next to this highway. Yeah. Well, there isn't much I can do with that except change the residential building into something else. Yeah, this is going to have to be an office building. Uh, so the problem is that uh, the more of the export isn't used locally, uh, that has to be fixed with an import of goods. So I'm hoping that the game will find a, a way to balance this out and reduce the import. Uh, and use uh, the goods that it's exporting locally uh, and that should also provide uh, with uh, the commercial for more goods to sell and should balance out this uh, discrepancy in the income uh, in the weekly income uh, so now I'm up to 510,000 population I do seem to constantly be getting more population but I cannot uh, get more demand for residential buildings this is because I've used once again the mod to fill all houses and this is a mod that allows for uh, the maximum number of households to be used per building and uh, that is why I am getting more sims into the city but not getting any more demand for um, these buildings because not all of the households have been filled on the previously built buildings so I have to wait for that to be fixed up also uh, like I said I need to fix up this uh, this balance here with the uh, 3x4 next to 4x4 buildings and this will also take a while because I cannot build any more residential buildings until the old ones are filled up to their maximum capacity. Uh, I'll see if uh, the mod is successful at making these households go up to 26 uh, because uh, currently I've been running this city for a few weeks now and it hasn't really managed to do so. Uh, I'm gonna see if it's maybe just a problem of uh, not enough teams yet moving in but if the mod does not appear to be able to fill up these households then I'm just gonna turn it off allow for more demand on uh, residential zones and just build more buildings hopefully being able to use up the entire space that I have uh, to reach 1 million population and uh, while we are in this view you can see that the districts are using just uh, these basic uh, policies the pet ban to reduce garbage recycling to also reduce garbage parts and parks and recreation to increase the value of uh, land uh, and therefore allow for the highest level of buildings to be uh, built a big business benefactor to help the commercial uh, sell more goods and of course uh, for the industry space planning to increase the amount of goods produced which is why I have this uh, huge export and you can see that the import has gone down since I've been talking uh, so this hopefully means that uh, the increase in the amount of goods that I'm making locally is managing to uh, this, uh, to reduce the amount of import being done for commercial buildings and, and this should also uh, reduce uh, the problem with this uh, high oscillation in the weekly income. Uh, this should help but I will also uh, explore other options if I see that this isn't going to help and that the commercial income with its uh, high oscillation is going to create a problem and drain uh, too much of my money because if I go bankrupt because the commercial buildings cannot keep their high profits uh, then of course I'm gonna be in big trouble so those are the few things that I will have to mess around with uh, between uh, each one of these videos uh, while we were talking we are now up to 511,000 and I do have this uh, high weekly income of population that's about 200 plus so that for the moment is giving me a feeling that this mod might be actually trying to fill up all the households because there's no demand uh, for more residential but the uh, number of weekly change for residential is constantly positive so like I said that's giving me hope that the households in the entire city are being filled to their maximum capacity which should uh, provide probably around 600,000 population if the mod is able to uh, make all of these houses get their maximum number of folks uh, in city in uh, the buildings
So that'll be all for the show episode. In the next one, I'm probably gonna uh, take a while to uh, flatten down these areas here, uh, prepare them for uh, extra uh, zones, but I'll be waiting to see if uh, this mod, like I said, can fill up these uh, buildings and allow for higher population with the same number of buildings. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos.